everybody. I uh, really appreciate uh, getting the time to talk for a few minutes tonight, and I want to thank uh, Brian. Brian was the first person I called when I thought about running for Victoria's seat for LD9, and he was very encouraging. I told him, I said, well, if you tell me to go away, I'll just go away, but he didn't tell me to go away, so here I am. I also want to thank uh, Michael Gordy, who came up to me after a public banking talk recently and said, you ought to think about running for Victoria's seat. And I said, well, you know what, I thought about it, but it's never been the right time for me. But uh, right about the same time Victoria said, well, I'm going to take on Martha McSally, I was telling my boss that I want to go part-time. And I thought, well, my, my job at the American Journal of Medicine, I'm the managing editor, it's not the kind of job you would quit to go to the legislature, right? But part-time, I think that this is the right time. I'm going to, like I said, go part-time. I'm going to put the time in to, it run, to run. I'm going to run clean. Uh, I have a website up. It's called powersforthepeople.net. And it talks about my platform. A lot of it is based on uh, bringing uh, Wall Street funds back to uh, Arizona and investing it on Main Street, uh, establishing a public bank that we can fund infrastructure, we can fund jobs, we can fund education. I also have the idea that we need to start closing these loopholes. This is something Steve Farley's been talking about for years, but we need to hammer the Republicans on the money that they're wasting. They're giving money away in unaffordable tax cuts that go to businesses that are not headquartered in Arizona. My platform would build local businesses. We shouldn't be chasing rainbows and chasing call centers. We should be building businesses right here on Main Street in Arizona. The other part of my uh, platform is I want to follow what uh, Victoria's done with the Equal Rights Amendment and Paycheck Fairness for Women. Right now, I just saw uh, census data that says that uh, Pima County is 41% Hispanic. Well, Latinas make 55 cents on the dollar. When we have that large of a percentage of our population in, in Tucson, Arizona, that's making less than the prevailing wage, that hurts all of us. Because if that woman's a single mom, we're going to be taking care of her and her children later. So we need to have fair wages for women and minorities in this town. Because, you know, like they say, rising tides lift all boats. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, I hope you support me. Like I said, I, I have powersforthepeople.net. It talks a lot more about my platform, my background. I grew up in Amherst, Ohio, but I've been in Arizona since 1981. So I came here when Bruce Babbitt was governor. Yay. I want to take us back to the Bruce Babbitt days or the Janet Palatama days and get rid of the Tea Party. So I hope you support me. I have. Uh, signatures and clean elections uh, forms here, uh, and if you haven't signed, please sign my petition. You can also sign online at the Secretary of State's office, and there's a click-through from my website for that. So, thank you for the time. <laughs>